The fourth conversion we will do will be converting copper oxide into copper chloride by adding hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid and then the result would be copper chloride and water. So the elements are copper, oxygen, hydrogen, and chloride. There's one copper on this side and one on the other. One oxygen and one one hydrogen, and there's two on that side, and then one chloride and two chlorides. Now the hydrogen and the chloride are not equal, so we can start with hydrogen. We need to have two on that side, which changes there to be two hydrogens and also two chlorides. So now the equation is balanced.